the Powerpuff Girls because they're, they're great. Um, they're so, like, they've got so much personality. And they just give you so much joy. They just, you know, you just think what they've come from and what you can give them. And it doesn't matter how much hard work it is. Yeah, the first couple of weeks it was hard work. Wow. So Buttercup's attached herself to Lisa and to Denise. And Buttercup feels really safe with Lisa and Denise. And she's made that positive decision. And she's just getting used to Bronte now. This is week four. The dogs have been here four weeks now. And we've got Bubbles, who is running in and out because she can. <laughs> in the... <laughs> Don't chew up the puppy mats. Out into the garden, back into the house. There we go. Jane is just chilling and relaxing. Oh, look at that. Relaxing on the floor. They're very soft, aren't you? They're just special. They're just, it is. It's just a special thing to do. And I'll do it again. We do it again. We don't regret it, do we? We don't regret it at all. We don't ever think, oh my goodness, why have we done this? You know, no way, no. Do it again. Even though Bubbles is running around still, she's in still in survival mode. But she's so much better, you know, she sleeps on the bed with me now. So they're finding their sense of play? Yes, yes. Well, so they're learning to live? No, no. She doesn't seem to. She just doesn't want people to touch on her us. radar, really. I think she feels responsible for these two. Yeah. And I think it's sort of out of her control. I wonder if that's because it's out of her control. She's almost panicking about it. Because um, she, it's like she can't, she would like to protect them, but she can't do anything to protect them. I'll just let her be, really. Let her just... Just giving her the space to yeah. do what she needs yeah. to do. But she will settle in but the you evening. see, if we were all sitting down and it's the, the evening, she goes off to sleep. And so, have you noticed a difference in them since they arrived? Definitely Buttercup, the one sitting with Lily. There's a massive difference. Like, she wouldn't even like let you anyone touch her, and she now comes up for cuddles. Like, wants people to like love her. This one, like after about two days, she let you pick her up and get really close with her. But then bu Bubbles is doing well. Like, she'll actually be in a room with you now. So they are like really improving, and they're really like getting to want to be with people. Well, that, well, that's my mum's expertise. She's like the dog trainer of the house. But it's always that, that approach that mum always says is just ignore them until they come up to you. Like, it's a dog's decision to be your friend. You can't befriend the dog. Like, you can't force yourself on an animal. They have to want to be with you and trust you. So it's kind of like, it's actually rewarding that they want to sit with you and want to be with you because it's their decision, it's not yours. I think Buttercup will eventually like let other people touch her and she'll be moving around to that she'll stop doing her like barking when people come in and she'll like get more comfortable. Blossom, I don't think Blossom's got very far to go apart from that she would like, she'll just, you'll be able to touch her like without her like being like, oh what's that, what's there? And then Bubbles has got quite a long way to go, haven't you my love? M Min is Blossom, she's um, sort of quite small. Um, this one is was Pin, is now Buttercup, and she's a cuddle monster. Mm. She just loves cuddles. She actually wraps her 
paws around you. And the one who's running around, oh, we've nearly got her. Um, yeah, she's just so loving this one. She just gets under the covers in bed with me. And the others don't get jealous at all. She just, she just loves to, loves her cuddle. She's a sweetheart. Thank <laughs> you.